Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card. Um, the company Spellbinders has reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to play with their large die of the month set. Um, and this is the kit for February. Like the kit becomes available on the first of each month. Um, I think the large uh, die set is 20 bucks. And here you can see all the dice that you get. It's really a lot of dice. And there, like, there's one theme. And this theme here is seems to be like birthday, greeting, celebrations. Um, and you get quite a few dice. Like I was surprised how many dice you actually get. So I cut a few of them out just so just to see how they would look like. So for example, you get the happy birthday sentiment. You get this um, cupcake. Um, you have the solid shape, and then you have this more intricate shape that you could uh, layer on top. For example, you know, have the bottom part right here maybe in brown, um, and then the one on top maybe in pink. Here is your the cupcake itself. Um, you have a solid form and the detailed form. You have words like wishing and you. There's also the word A or the letter A in there somewhere. So you could say wishing you a happy birthday. Um, you've got candles. There are like two um, different candle shapes. Again, you can layer those on top of each other. They are made to layer. And you have two different hearts, which I feature in a separate video. So you have a cherry here as well. Here's the word A. You have the big bow that I didn't cut and then these shapes here. And then um, another die. And what I really like, and I want to focus on the sentiment today, is the additional detail that you get. So it's not just die cutting, it's also embossing into the die cut some structure, which I find absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just want to give you a heads up. I'll be featuring this um, die set in three separate videos. Today um, I'm going to show you one card that I make and in the following days I'll show you two more cards that I create exclusively from this die set. Now what I'm doing here is I'm adhering Stick It, which is a double-sided adhesive, to the back and front of cardstock. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this, at least to one side, is because I want to apply some glitter. Because I want to use lots and lots of glitter on the birthday card. Um, a word of caution, I would advise you to not use double-sided adhesive on both sides of the cardstock um, because it's just going to be super difficult later on uh, with intricate die cuts like this um, to get all the little pieces out and um, I actually originally only did it because I wanted to um, spare myself the work of uh, putting like glue on the back of the die cut but I really should have done that. So take my advice and only put double-sided adhesive on one uh, side of the of the paper. Just gonna make your life so much easier. So I've worked my glitter in here and now I'm going to run this paper and the die cuts through the Spellbinders 6 Platinum machine. So this is like the small uh, Spellbinders die cutting machine which Spellbinders uh, was kind enough to send to me. Um, so it's, um, you can actually fold up like the platform, um, you can fold it up so it's kind of easy to store. Um, so it doesn't even take a lot of space on my craft space. Um, it has a six inch platform which for us card makers I guess is big enough, like I don't really have anything that is larger than this, like six inches wide obviously. Um, so I'm, I was quite happy with it actually and I'll keep using it for the foreseeable future because it's quite convenient. Um, now here for my project I have a standard A2 size card base, just applying some double-sided adhesive on the bottom and a strip of pattern paper and I'm applying, uh, I'm applying a, um, another piece of cardstock on top so this will sit on top of the pattern paper because I feel it just looks nicer but you wouldn't even have to do that. And now I'm using the tool in one which is like kind of like a pokey thing with a brush at the end or bristles at the end um, to get my die cut out of the die. And you, because it is very intricate, you can see that cutting through two layers of um, adhesive was a little bit challenging, but it, to be honest, it would have been challenging with the Big Shot as well. So this is not a shortcoming of the Spellbinders machine. I just overdid it on the adhesive. Eventually I got it out and I uh, adhered my sentiments onto the um, onto the cardstock and you can see here for example in the A and in the R below I didn't really get the centerpiece like this circle one out uh, without you know, I would have had to tear up the the um, 
the die cut element so yeah don't overdo it on the double-sided adhesive one layer is completely enough for to adhere the glitter and for the rest just use regular glue to adhere the die cut to your card base um, I learned my lesson you are welcome for telling for telling you. Um, I tested this especially for you. So now I'm using my Stabilo um, markers. They are just regular, um, like cheap pens, felt tip pens, and you know they are very very inexpensive. That's why I don't mind using them on glitter. Um, I wouldn't use my Copics quite like that on glitter. I would be very careful with my Copics. I've done it in the past. Um, but the Stabilo markers work just as well on Copics, so there's uh, just as well on glitter, so there's no reason actually not to use them here. You get really nice and vibrant colors. The only thing that you have to be very careful about is um, because of because of the adhesive on which the glitter sits, um, the fluid from the markers cannot seep into the cardstock, which means this will stay wet quite a while. So be careful not to um, go over this with your fingers for maybe at least half an hour, um, because you will smudge it. Don't ask me how I know, because I don't want to relive that. But you can see here how nicely um, this looks. You have this beautiful glitter effect and then the rainbow colors, which, I mean, they are perfect for a birthday card, for real. The only other thing I did after I finished uh, the video and then I was staring at the card and I was like, this needs a little bit more contrast. So I grabbed my um, Nouveau um, Crystal Drops in the, I think it's the Ebony color, like basically black, um, and added some, uh, some accents here. So I have a few more cards for you to check out. And as I said, I'll be featuring um, this die set again in future videos. So please subscribe so you can have more inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon.